Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, don't have the confidence to ask her out? Well, when you meet a girl, or you see a girl on the bus, or on the train, or you see her every day at work, but you never stop by and say hello, you never go up and you start talking to her, and you don't ask her for her number, but you look at her with those fuck me eyes, those eyes of desire that communicate you're interested in her, you give away the fact that you're into her, but the fact that you don't go up and talk to her just communicates that you are insecure about yourself, you're unsure of yourself, and you simply don't have enough self-confidence to approach a girl. And that starts to lower your value in her eyes the longer this stuff continues on for. And I've got this email here from a viewer, and he says, Hey, Corey, I've just reconnected with a girl on Facebook who I like a lot, but I unfriended her because I felt I was getting too needy. Dude, you should only, I mean, if you're talking to a girl on Facebook and you're sending umpteen posts back or messages back and forth and you feel like you're acting too needy, you really should just simply be asking this girl to meet you out for a drink and if she's not interested, she'll turn you down or give you some excuse why she can't. And then you can just simply move on to the next girl. But you waste all this time and now you've unfriended the girl? That's that's weird, dude. He sa and that's how she's going to perceive it as being weird. He says, I told her that the reason why we are not friends was because of a Facebook bug. Yeah. I, I'm sure she believes that one. I didn't want to reveal how much I like her in order to show her neediness. This was before I started watching your videos. I work with her and feel a connection, but there feel a connection, but she is a good Christian girl, her words, and I don't feel like I'm in the best shape in terms of body and lifestyle at the moment to have the confidence to ask her out. Who fucking cares? Women are attracted to confidence. They're not so much Looks are number usually like number three or number four on the, the list of things that are important to a woman. Now you still, on a scale of one to ten, you have to be at least a five or better in her eyes in order to have a chance because attraction is not a choice. Either a woman feels enough of it for you or she doesn't. And so if you start out at a five, you're going to have to do a lot more work and effort to keep the conversation going, things of that nature, as opposed to had you have met her and she felt that you were an 8 or a 9 on a scale of 1 to 10 as far as physical attractiveness. But she could perceive you as a 5 and you're out of shape, out of luck, unemployed, doesn't really fucking matter. And as long as you do the right things and you push her buttons emotionally, she'll fall in love with you if you court her properly over the course of several months. He says, also she says that things at work that seem to be little tests for me, like the guy I was dating slept with another girl... He says, another coworker said, you can do to this particular guy that wrote me whatever you want. In other words, so even your coworkers can tell that you like this girl and they're messing with you and communicating that, yeah, he really likes you. He says, I just smiled and she giggled. She regularly flirts with the security at work and we work in hospitality. What do you think I can do to attract her to the point where she's chasing me? And also, how can I stop thinking about her and improve my life to where I am happy with my life's purpose? Thank you for reading this. I think whatever you do or what you do is incredible. And whenever I feel down about my romantic life, I just watch a few of your vid videos and feel much better. Well, thank you. So this is what you should do with this particular girl. You need to ask her out. It doesn't matter that you're a work in progress and you're, you're not perfect. You don't have anything you got to prove to this particular girl. The only thing you really need to prove is prove to yourself that you get the balls is just simply just go up to her and tell her what you like about her. Tell her you think she's beautiful or if you're working with her and you're really uncomfortable, just say, hey, you, I really enjoy chatting with you. You seem like such a great gal. I'd love to get together and meet you out for a drink sometime. When are you free to get together? Let her respond and then make definite plans to get together. And if she likes you, she'll make plans with you and she'll make it easy for you and her to get together. But the lower her level of attraction and interest in you is, if it's like a four or below, there's nothing that you can do to, to raise it. But if she likes you, she will help you and make it easy for you to make a date with her to get together. Just meet up for a couple drinks, and that's all you need to do. Just focus on that. Make definite plans, and if she won't make definite plans, just simply, you know, if she says, well, I'm not sure, i got to get back to you. Just say, great, well, just let me know when you figure out your schedule, and we'll go from there. And then you just walk away, and you never bring it up to her again. And if she likes you, and it's important to her, 
to schedule something when she tells you she's got to get back to you, she'll get back to you if she actually means it. And if she doesn't, she'll never bring it up again, hoping that you forget about it and that you don't bring it up because she that's just her way of trying to reject you and be nice about it. <clears throat> but, I mean, to look at a girl and say, oh, I'm not in enough shape or my life's not where it needs to be, I mean, as a man... You simply need to be focused on a daily basis, just trying to get a little bit better each day. Try to be go to the gym a few more times a week. Try to eat a few more healthy, healthier me meals. If you're juicing green vegetables, making sure you go to the store and you've got supplies in your fridge to juice vegetables with, so you take care of your body, so you can look good, you feel good. I mean, work with your healthcare professional. I, I wrote a, an article a while back called Rediscover the Fountain of Youth, and I talk about juicing green vegetables and what I've learned from Dr. Robert O'Young's work. I highly encourage you to Google Corey Wayne, Rediscover the Fountain of Youth, and go read that article and apply those things. Get together with your healthcare professional and start implementing those things. Get yourself a personal trainer. Start doing cardio exercise. Start doing weight training so you can get your body in shape because the more in shape you get, the better you're going to feel about yourself, and plus the better you're going to look. And the more and that that can only help you in your case of becoming more attractive to the opposite sex because people who love themselves and who appreciate the gift of life, they take care of their bodies. They work out, they get in shape, and they look healthy because they want to look good. Just like Jim Rohn has his famous quote, and he says, I'll take care of me for you, and you take care of you for me. And that's what you should do. You should focus on taking care of you. And I also did some... Some articles a while back, how to discover your purpose. So if you think your job sucks or you're not really happy in it and it's not what you really want to be doing long term, I did an article called, just Google Corey Wayne, how to discover your purpose. And follow what it teaches in there. It'll take you through a process so you can figure out what it is you really put on this earth to do. So even if you can't do it full time because you got to work for somebody else and earn a living, at least you can start working on the side to build a plan or to start building a business or build a business on the side so you can one day, basically in a nice way, tell your boss to take this job that sucks and shove it up his ass sideways and leave and go do your own thing someday. But do those things. F focus on being healthy, which is an area you said, because a, a guy is successful with women. He's focusing on all areas of his life, just like a professional athlete when you talk to any of these guys that play in the NFL or the NBA or the Major League Baseball, they'll all say the same thing. Oh, I'm just trying to get a little bit better. I'm just trying to become a little bit better teammate to my teammates so I can be a little bit better. Even guys that have been in the league 8, 10 years that are making the max money, they're all the same thing. They're just practicing repetitions of another skill. They're just trying to get it a little bit better. And instead of looking at the fact that you don't have all of your big goals accomplished yet in your life, I mean, at the end of the day, accomplishing a big goal is simply breaking it down into a bunch of small, little daily goals that are easy to accomplish, like going to the gym or going to the store and buying healthy groceries or going for a run at night or making sure you get plenty of sleep or scheduling time to do some research on a future business venture that you're potentially thinking of starting or going and interviewing that guy that already has a company like you want to have someday and figuring out how they built it. So you can model their success and speed up your time to becoming the success that you want to be. Those are some things that you should consider. But when you want a girl, ask her out and don't give your don't bullshit yourself, bullshit yourself and say, oh, I need someone or something outside of myself before I could get to that place where I could ask that girl. That's a bunch of bullshit. Just go for it because you could get hit by a fucking bus tomorrow. And one of the things that Steve Jobs used to say, he said every morning he would look in the mirror and he would ask himself, if today were going to be my last day on earth, what I want to do what I'm about to do now? And when the answer was no, too many days in a row, he knew he needed to change something. Why? Because someday, which obviously that day came for him, someday will most surely be your last day on earth. And so the question is, do you want to spend, if today was your last day, would you want to not ask that girl out? Would you want to not stop, start that business? Something to think about. So if you have a question, go to my website and click the Contact Me tab, which will be on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me one to two paragraphs max. And just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help 
is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the products tab, which will be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook on my website, underneath the email sign up box is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device already, you can download one of their free e reader apps. And on the right hand side, there's a button you can click to download an app for your smartphone, tablet device, or your computer. It only takes a matter of seconds to download and install the app and complete the purchase of my book. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website, and my ebook, you can show your appreciation by going to my website and on the Would Be a Toolbar, which will be at the bottom of your screen. Click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.